Hey guys, welcome back. So I hope you're all doing well and today we are going to be doing a reading to see what is going on with Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines in Divine Soulmate Connections. Okay, it could be Twin Soul Connections. Um, it's going to be specific for those of you where there is a karmic or third party element involved. All right, and I will be doing the reading as if it is on the side of the masculines, okay? But of course you can take the messages as they resonate because it could be that it's the feminine who is involved in a karmic situation or maybe you both are. Um, I will be doing this a little bit differently today and the focus will mostly be on the masculine and their energy towards their situation, okay? So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, as we go along and if I'm going to look into more energies towards the end of this reading or I might split it up and just post a separate video later this week. We will see. Um, I know the energies are a little bit harsh and I feel like I feel like it, um, there's a lot that's coming up in October um, astrologically as well but I feel like the energies are just going to get a little bit harsher so do be prepared for that but know that you are supported all right throughout this process. I've been getting that for a while now and I feel like it's um, beginning to happen. I feel like it's mostly for the feminines. It's also for the masculines. Um, possibly at slightly different timings. All right, so let's see. Let's get some oracle cards to see what is going on with the masculines in their situation. And of course, this could even include the feminine. All right, we'll see what we get. We have adjacent possibilities. Also keep in mind, this is general, so it's definitely not going to be everybody's situation. If you want a personal reading, I have all that information in the description box. All right, we have rigid. Let me just get a couple more. So this is all about the masculines at the moment. Um, it's like there are these, okay. There have been opportunities for them um, to make a change, to make a shift, to change the direction, their path, right? It's like these doors have been opened. Sometimes they're open, sometimes they're closed, right? So there are particular times when it is easier for them to make um, a move for significant change. And then there are other times where it's a little bit more difficult. What I'm getting here is that It's almost as if they're beginning to realize that, but there's also some rigidness here, all right, when it comes when it comes to taking the available opportunities when they arise. So again, this is not going to be everybody's situation, but the particular masculines or group of masculines that I'm tapping into here for this particular reading, it feels like every time that door opens for them, it's like they they're about to take that leap and move out of that door, but they don't, all right? That's what this rigidness is about. It's like a resistance. So let's see what else. Okay. Oh, pretty interesting. We have soulmate, third party, the answer is no, and vibrations. All right, so for this masculine, clearly they know that there is a soulmate, right? Like a divine soul, soulmate partner, all right? For them, that would be the divine feminine, and there's also that third party. So they're aware of the situation. They're aware of the soulmate connection, that they have with their divine feminines. Now, the reason why we have the answer is no is because this is a masculine who does not want to be in this situation anymore. Even if they are being rigid, even if they are not taking that those possibilities. This is also, the, the answer is no came right after the third party. This is a masculine, obviously, who does not want this third party, whatever it is, right? Um, I'm just doing this reading as if it is a karmic partner or romantic partner, right, where there are some karmic lessons that need to be completed in order for the masculine to then move on um, towards what it is that they truly want after that, right? 
and we have the vibrations card so i feel like they're that's why actually the vibrations card is here is because it's signifying that they are in this vibration of understanding this and of not wanting to be in this third party mess anymore so yeah for most of you that this is going to resonate it's going to feel like the situation is a little bit messy in one way or another all right so let's get into the tarot as i said i'm going to be doing a little bit of a different type of a spread here i'm not just going to be pulling out cards i will be doing a specific spread to see what is going on with the masculines in this group as it pertains to their karmic situation but again the divine feminine can show up in here as well all right so it's just what is going on with them in their life overall Okay, so for the situation, we have the Two of Cups crossed by the Knight of Wands. Okay, so this is a masculine who really has love on their mind, all right? They are thinking a lot about um, what, what love is, okay? So a lot of feelings concerning the Divine Feminine showing up here, but it's crossed by the Knight of Wands. So actually taking action based in love is what their, what their issue is here. Um, for the recent past, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So this is somebody who may have put in some effort <clears throat> in the past. Again, it's coming in like, like these adjacent possibilities, right? Like the door opening, them taking some steps, but not going all the way, not getting the full result, not putting in 100% of the effort that is required, like still some waiting, still kind of waiting for things to kind of happen on their own here. So for the near future, we have the Five of Cups. Okay, so this is some regret, sadness. We will be clarifying these, by the way. For their consciousness or for, you know, what it is that they're thinking about, we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so this is a little bit of stubbornness here, wanting to hold on. And oftentimes with the Four of Pentacles, it's holding on um, excessively, unnecessarily. Almost like um, sometimes um, I can see with this card that it is like a lack mentality, feeling like I need to hold on to this because I'm so afraid of having a loss. For the driving force, which is in their subconscious, we have the three of cups. Okay, so here's, <clears throat> I'm picking this up as love again, and a reconciliation with love, which is what is driving their, them forward but it is still in the subconscious level. We'll see, all right? Because I feel like this is the this is wanting a reconciliation with the divine feminine. Wanting things to be lighter though, wanting things to to be a little bit happier in their lives in general. For their energy, we have the ace of pentacles. Okay, so they are thinking about this new path. I actually feel like this is them, this is another opportunity that is presenting itself to them. Another door opening here. Let's see for the external influences. We have the Ace of Wands. Ooh, okay, we're going to clarify that. Their hopes and fears. We have the Six of Pentacles. And for the potential outcome for this week at least, or one or two weeks, we have the Three of Swords. All right, so sadness, pain, broken heart, we'll see. With that Six of Pentacles, though, showing up in their hopes and fears, this masculine is possibly afraid of... Afraid, there's a fear of how much they can give to a particular situation. Um, I'm seeing this as the situation with their karmic partner whether or not things can be balanced, whether or not there can be justice, whether or not they can be, um, <clears throat> whether they can be in the right when it comes to what it is that they can provide and what it is that, what, what their obligations are. So again, this is not going to be for everybody, okay? This is just a particular group here so we're going to clarify and get some more information so let's see this two of cups crossed by the knight of wands
Ooh, okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Lovers. Okay, this particular masculine is really thinking about the feminine, all right? Number one. Um, I feel like there has also been a lot of in and out, or there currently is some in and out type of behavior or type, or type of attitude. You would know this if you are in contact. If you're not in contact, this is a masculine who is in and out when it comes to their energy concerning this, concerning love, concerning the karmic, concerning everything, okay? This masculine is wanting to be um, single here. All right, with the Nine of Pentacles, this is somebody who wants to be independent. But we have, we have this tower, right, and the lovers. So it's like at this point in time, the masculine is really being challenged to allow this tower to fall, to allow the tower to fall when it comes to having to make a decision about their love life. rather than being in and out. It's it's kind of like this masculine is one minute um, surrendering to the tower falling and then the next minute is resisting. Almost like trying to keep that tower together. Don't let it fall. Don't let it fall. That kind of an energy. But there's this understanding that this tower does have to fall if they are to be this nine of um, pentacles. Independent. Free. In order to have love. Um, for, for some of you, and I'm getting mostly... This is going to be for those of you who have not been in contact for a while. Um, this masculine could even be... Again, this is going to be just for, for some of you, okay, in this group, but not everybody. Um, some of these masculines have not, have not been faithful to, to the karmic partner, not only with the divine feminine, but with other people as well. So if you have not been in contact in a long time, this could be a possibility. It's not necessarily, but for some of you, I feel like it is. And this is actually kind of like one of their attempts to get themselves to be independent. It's almost like a self-defense mechanism. And it's also a way of them avoiding um, this choice that they have to make. It's just a form of escapism. Okay, again, not going to be for all of you. That message came through. That's just going to be for a few of you. Let's see the Seven of Pentacles in the recent past. All right, we have Temperance, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Ace of Pentacles was actually um, in reverse. I'm not taking the main energies um, for reversals, but for the clarifiers, I do take them into account. So, yeah, this is, this is some kind of an effort that was put in. I feel like for a lot of them, not only was this um, effort to exit, I'm actually getting that this was actually effort to make this relationship work, okay, um, with whatever the issue is here, okay? It could be a romantic partner, it could be another person, it could be a group of people, it could be a situation, okay? Take it as it resonates. But there was some effort that was being put here towards this. But it, but it wasn't it wasn't full effort because it wasn't full effort because it feels like this was not not where they want to be. So it's like with this page of swords, it's like yeah, you know, um, having some curiosity possibly or. You know, doing little things, communicating, yeah, let's work on our communication or let's work on something else. Let's look at this from a logical perspective. But it wasn't enough to, to actually go anywhere for there to be some kind of an end result. It was taking too long. I feel like, the, like whatever this effort is, it's like it's, it's been taking a lot of time and still not yielding the results that they would have wanted. And this actually goes both ways. 
when it comes to both the um, the karmic partner or situation as well as when it comes to exiting that situation so there it's yeah this effort was both for making it work with the karmic partner and then also leaving the karmic partner both of those efforts were always just half-assed <laughs> like never going all the way with either option All right, let's see that Four of Pentacles in their consciousness. Let's understand that one a little bit better, please. All right, all in reverse, the Page of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, this masculine is holding on to a situation where there is no motivation, there is no passion. <clears throat> There's a lot of settling, all right, with this Four of Cups. It's like a lot of unhappiness, discontentment, and there is no love. So it's like they're holding on to this stubbornly. And because this is in their consciousness, I feel like they're very much aware of what it is that they are doing, all right? see this three of cups the eight of wands and the world in reverse like I said this energy is is representing the their divine feminine okay it's their drive it's their it's their wish for this reconciliation, which is in their subconscious. And it's actually with this Eight of Wands, it's, I feel like it's moving up. See how, especially in this particular deck, these wands, they're moving upwards towards the sky. So it's like this energy of this Three of Cups, it's moving up towards the consciousness. We have the world here in reverse because they know that this is not done. For the masculine, this connection with the with the feminines is not over yet. It's not complete. There is still momentum building, building towards this, all right, from their subconscious. Let's see this ace of pentacles, which is in their in their energy at the moment. Because like I said, I feel like this is a new pathway opening up for them. They're looking at this new path. Like before, for the for the recent past, we had it in reverse here. All right, so we have the Six of Pentacles showing up again, the Page of Pentacles, and the King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they're looking at, I feel like, honestly, I feel like they're kind of doing the same thing again at the moment, okay? Um, again, this is just for like a week or two. And time is relevant, so it could have been last week for some of you. It could be, you know, the following week for, for others of you. So just, again, take what makes sense for you. Um, but I'm seeing kind of like very similar energy here as as in the recent past. It's almost like repeating repeating something um again there's this effort that is being put forth towards trying to find some kind of a balance towards figuring out how to give their energy in a new type of a way right to take a new path whether that be um exiting the situation or making it work and i feel like for for um, all of you, it's going to be a little bit different. Like, I feel like for some... Oh my gosh, okay, here's what I'm getting. For some of you, it's actually the masculines trying to exit again. But also trying to figure out how it is that they can give whatever needs to be given to this. So that they can have their conscience clear, right? Because there is some guilt that is coming up here. And then for others of you... It is how can they make this work again? But again, in both situations, they're not they're not going all the way here with this page of pentacles. I feel like it's they're they're making a first step, but it's like they're not going all the way. 
Um, and then we have the King of Wands in reverse, so to pretty much verify that. So if you look at the moment, this particular masculine is is being rigid, right? We have the Four of Pentacles also in their consciousness. We have the rigid card. The possibilities are there. It's like that option is there to them, like that that's available to them, right? To exit, to take a new path. Um, but I have to be honest, I see this masculine kind of just looking at it again. Which is what they were doing here with this Page of Swords too, just, just kind of looking at it. It's like, yeah, look, I put in some effort. Let's see, where are the results? Yeah, but results cannot come, number one, when you're putting in effort for something you don't truly desire. And number two, when you do put in effort for something you truly desire, you have to go all the way. And they weren't doing either of those things. So this is going to lead to some regret, apparently. <clears throat> yeah, let's clarify that Five of Cups for um, what is coming up. The Seven of Swords in reverse, as well as the Ten of Cups in reverse. Oh, gosh, okay, yeah, a lot of unhappiness when it comes to love and the situation that they are in. Um, this is like feeling that regret for like having, I'm getting with the Seven of Swords, having snuck back into their routine, having snuck back in to the situation, which is the Ten of Cups in reverse, having snuck back into unhappiness and a loveless type of a situation. Um... I feel like this is actually regret for not having taken that possibility for actually, because I feel like maybe, you know, that door is open for them again. And again, it's like they're just looking at it. And so this is, the, and the reason why I'm saying sneaking back in, because I feel like for them, it feels like it kind of crept up on them. Like just when they thought that they might be getting somewhere, they might be exiting this connection, putting an end to it. It's like, you know, they, they, they slacked, like they didn't put in all the effort that was needed, and so it just kind of sucked them back in. And so that's why I'm saying the sneaking back, like, because it, it, like, it snuck up on them. That's how they're perceiving it. And that's bringing a lot of, a lot of sadness, a lot of remorse. All right, let's see this Ace of Wands for the external influence because I feel like this is the, um, this is some motivation here, some motivation showing up here. Let's see what this is. Because I feel like this is from their Divine Feminine um, because we had similar energy here in the subconscious, which was very clear that it's the Divine Feminine. So yeah, we have Strength, the Five of Wands, and Death. Ooh. Okay, so for some of them, for some of them, it could even be um, somebody else that is um, giving them some kind of assistance, some kind of support here. And I feel like for, for those of you that this is going to resonate with, okay, this particular scenario, it is somebody who is actually like, somebody who who annoys them, somebody who is probably like a little bit um, pushy with them, but for their own good. And pushing them for, to make this transition, to make this um, shift, to put an end to this situation. It's like somebody is, is supporting them through that, giving them that strength, driving them forward. For most of you, though, I feel like this is actually the Divine Feminine. Even if you are not in contact, especially Divine Feminines who have ended the connection. So if you have walked away from this, this is causing a lot of conflict for the masculine. But within, from that conflict, it's actually also giving them that strength and that motivation to bring this energy to their consciousness. I feel like the strength that you portray, it's like it's reflected back to them. 
and then they follow in those footsteps, even if even if this has, had caused tension between the two of you. So let's see that Six of Pentacles for the hopes and fears. All right, the Chariot, the Queen of Swords in reverse, and Justice in reverse. Yeah, okay, so this masculine has a fear of if they if they were to um, leave this situation behind and move away from it, they have a fear of losing control. There's a fear of, for some of them, it's a fear of not being the right decision. Like, what if, what if it's a mistake? What if this is wrong? What if, whatever. But mostly because... When it, it, in terms of whether they can still give whatever it is that they are supposed to give to this. And for those of them who might not have any obligations to this particular situation here, I feel like it has to do with whether they can give to their feminine. So for most of them, I'm getting that it's an energy of whether they will be able to still provide, let's say if they have a family, right? Or if they have um, financial obligations with the karmic, like if they might have mutual assets, they might have a business together, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so there's a fear of that. And then for others of them, it's a fear of whether they, they can give enough to their feminine, almost like, you know, can they even make up for what has happened in the past? There's a hope for that though. There's a hope to be able to take action on, on their, on their um, mistakes and the, the wrong decisions that they feel they have made in the past. All right, so let's see that Three of Swords. I actually just had the, ooh, the devil in reverse. What else? So this is for the potential outcome. Coming up at least. All right, and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse this time, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so there's there's going to be some pain. There's going to be some pain, but it is this pain. <laughs> it's actually this pain, right? This Three of Swords. For some of them, it could even be a breakup or a separation with, with a karmic partner, which would cause pain um, to some level. For others of them, even if there is no separation just yet, they're still going through a lot of pain, all right? We have, for the future energies, we have both the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords. So with these clarifiers here, this is saying that it's this pain that is actually getting them out of that devil's energy, getting them out of that seven of pentacles energy, which, and the two of pentacles, which as I was saying before, is then just, <clears throat> for me, this was coming in as half-assed effort in either direction. So what I'm seeing here is that this pain is actually driving them towards detaching releasing some toxicity here it's not even the toxicity between um the masculine and the karmic this is actually their own <clears throat> unhealthy um pattern of the seven of pentacles of half-assing any type of effort just beating around the bush not really going anywhere doing little things just to make themselves feel like, yeah, look, I put in effort. Look, I tried this. I tried that. I tried it this way. I tried it that way. No. Coming out of that. But they need to feel this pain first. They need to feel this regret for what is happening right now. All right, and we have the Two of Pentacles here. Did we see this before? 
No, we didn't. I thought we had it somewhere, but we didn't. Um, <clears throat> trying to balance this, trying to balance out this energy. It's difficult. It's going to be difficult. Um, the pain is going to be difficult to manage as well. But that pain is actually going to push them, push them forward, at least in cutting out that, that toxic, unhealthy pattern of putting in half effort. So, and I don't see it being effort with the karmic, all right, with, with the three of swords, obviously, okay? I see it as this being an effort to actually allow this three of swords to happen. Don't resist the pain, not resisting that pain, not resisting that tower. Allowing themselves to feel the pain of an ending, basically. So whether there is an actual ending yet or not, it's at least cutting out that pattern that they've been doing over and over and over again, that rigidness. So, um, yeah, you know, I feel like <clears throat> we're just going to get a couple of Oracle cards to close this out and I will just do a separate reading, um, <clears throat> possibly for the feminines, if I get a chance to, or for the masculine's energy more, more specific towards their feminine. Hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully by the weekend. All right, let's see. Let's get some final messages here. All right, and we have a change in the wind. So yeah, this pattern needs to change. This rigidness needs to change. This pattern of doors opening up and then never actually walking through them, that, that needs to change, all right? And there's a change here that is coming up. Let's get one more. Have the full moon in cancer a personal issue reaches resolution and I feel like that personal issue is that personal uh, unhealthy pattern that the masculine has been holding on to so rigidly so really that's what that's what all of this is about that's what they have been holding on to it's that habit it's like a habit <clears throat> So yeah, I feel like things are <clears throat> moving forward for this particular group. I'm going to leave it at that. I thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if it resonated and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.